Chris, when you look back on this year red shirt, what stands out the most to you? Man, I think uh, how we kind of grew together as uh, you know, as kind of a whole team. Uh, when the beginning of the year started, we were kind of you know the red shirt guys and the guys that are playing was kind of a separate group. But uh, just the way we, we've came together and uh, kind of realized our common goal was you know not only to get ourselves better but to help our team get better. And just to kind of see them grow, see the freshmen grow, you know, see how much better they've gotten since the beginning of the year. You know, I think it's just a you know a year of growth, how how much better everybody's gotten. You know, see the seniors, we kind of kind of leaving them out on a good note. You know, our season hasn't been going well, but just to see how everyone's improving and you know just got better since the beginning of the year. What was the most surprising part to you about red shirting? Something you, that happened that you went, you know, I would not expected that before man, I went through it. Man, how fast this went. You know, I honestly expected this to be a, to be a long season, a long haul, but uh, you know, it honestly went a lot faster than I thought. You know. We got one home game left and one road game left in the tournament. But, uh, man, it's, it's flew by. You know, Coach told us it would. You know, I didn't really believe him. But, you know, it, it's, it's flown by. And, uh, you know, it's, so we got a couple games left and it's our turn. What, the, what do you think is the biggest way you've helped the team this year, not just in practice with everything, but the way you can see it in individual players and the way they play the game now? Um, I mean, just kind of giving the guys the good look in practice. I mean, that's really all I can think of, you know, just, you know, giving them my best in practice and kind of being a leader with the with the scout team, uh, being a leader with our team, and as well as being a leader with the guys that are playing, you know, just telling them what we see on the court, uh, you know, even even talking to the coaches, what, what we can see on the court, you know, what we think they need to be doing or, you know, a play that they think that will work. And, I mean, I think just kind of being a leader uh, on and off the court. Is it kind of conflicting emotions for you? Because, I mean, in a couple of games, the seniors are done, their college careers over, and it's kind of sad. But at the same time, I mean, you're right up. You're ready to play. You know, your time's right on out. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of both for me. You know, of course, I'm sad to see the seniors go. You know, they've uh, they've helped me a lot as well. You know, kind of showing me around campus, showing me, showing me the ropes of Iowa State. And, uh, you know, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's our turn. So, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of both for me to – uh, you know, sad to see them go, but sad to see their season end. But at the same time, it's, it's our turn. How good can you guys be next year? Man, we we can be as good as we want to be. I feel like, uh, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. You know, uh, I mean, you know, but I think you know the sky's the limit for us. I mean, if uh, if we're in the gym, we come together and we when we figure everything out, uh, and we work hard and we're constantly in the gym, then I think we can be a great team next year.